Hey everybody, it's me Stacy here at Scrapbooking Made Simple and it's time for our next Saturday with Stacy, YouTube number 316. This is my third time trying to tape the intro. Well, yeah, this will be three. So, <laughs> so as I was doing this just a few minutes ago, my phone rang and I should have just picked it up and talked, but I didn't. It was Authentique calling and um, Brett, from Authentique and and this just happens to be a YouTube featuring Authentique and I picked up the phone and I said I was just taping the YouTube class and he's like oh and I said I should have just picked up the phone and talked to you while I was on camera I said I've done that with others before and he goes oh I'm so glad you didn't I'm like no we would have been great we would have said buy more Authentique <laughs> Anyway, this ta this class is a fun class today. It is about taking some wonderful product and utilizing it in gifts that are going to be so well received to whomever you give them to. You're going to look like an absolute rock star and it's on a budget. Now, normally we don't do a lot with Authentique, not because we don't want to, we love their paper, but online we typically sell six by six and eight by eight and A4 and eight and a half by 11 and not 12 by 12 paper. And that's really what this company is known for. Their stellar designs on their 12 by 12 paper. But then they came out with this new collection. And when I first saw it, I'm like, oh, I, I have ideas. I really have ideas. Then I called them and I said, I have ideas. And, <laughs> and they said, oh, what if we did a special paper pad just for your customers, Stacy? And I said, well, <laughs> tell me more, tell me more. <laughs> And I am so very, very lucky because this new collection that Authentique did has a six by six paper pad, but now we have another to go with it and they coordinate so beautifully. They are so magical that I really was just over the moon excited that we were able to have them come back and do a YouTube. I love these paper pads. I do. And I love the projects that we're going to do with them today. And I think that whether you're a brand new crafter who has never done any of this before, or you are the most experienced, seasoned crafter, been doing it since dirt, you are going to find a benefit in these paper pads and the projects that we're going to be doing because it's calendars, but not just calendars and not maybe the way you've thought of them in the past. Oh, I'm very excited. Okay. So I also have for you, well, let me give you an update on Mr. SMS. Today is Friday. It is like October 11th. Tuesdays are the day that I dread because Tuesday are, is the day that they uh, review his progress at the hospital and uh, request whether he can get another week's stay at the hospital or whether they're going to discharge him. He is still in a wheelchair and will be in a wheelchair for quite some time. That doesn't mean that he's not up trying to be in a walker, and he is, but it's going to take months and months and months before he is able to to use a walker independently. His left side is still very affected, although his mind is as sharp as can be and he can talk and have conversations and just be as funny and be be my Michael is what he gets. He's my Michael and, and so I see that in him and that hasn't changed. We're just gonna have to work our way through the stroke. That's just what it is. So Tuesdays, Tuesdays are the day I hold my breath and wait to hear if they're going to recommend he stay another week or they say no, they want to discharge him. And I do my best effort to uh, rally the troops, meaning all of his doctors. I will email all of his doctors and say, if you could please email this one doctor who is the one doctor who gets to say whether he stays or goes, we would appreciate your support in advocating for Michael. And as long as I just keep being that little engine that could, and I just keep poking them saying, he's not ready yet, he's not ready yet, 
he, he, he's not ready yet. He needs to be able to, to get up on and sit up on his own and he needs to be able to get transferred to a wheelchair on his own and he needs, I mean, all of these things need to be done before he's ready to come home. So we just keep striving to encourage him and to motivate him and to be excited for him when he has even the smallest little little improvement because that is a huge improvement uh, for him and we're excited for him and I won't give up with the uh, with the hospital and saying nope not time yet so we'll just keep going and all of your cards and your um, your well wishes and your prayers and your contribution to our GoFundMe. Oh my gosh. So if we have to keep him there, they say, Stacy, can't keep him here any longer. We're not going to cover it. We are going to be paying out of pocket for that. We are going to keep him in acute rehab, which is three and a half hours of rehab every day for as long as I can afford to. Because once he is discharged, he goes down to two hours to three hours a week of, acute, of rehab and that's not going to get him back to where he needs to be so as soon as they give so that's why i keep striving for more time more time because eventually i know they're going to pull the plug but then that's where we're going to step in and we as a collective are going to make sure that he stays where he needs to be for as long as we can possibly afford it so he gets the best chance to recover fully and that's the goal Anyway, that's Mr. SMS and um, and just big hugs and big thank yous to all of you who continue your prayers for him. It has been a month since his heart surgery. His heart's doing great. Heart's doing fine. And, and, and it was the heart surgery that caused the stroke. Otherwise, he would not have had a stroke. So we're just going to, like I said, plow forward and move ahead. Just like I'm going to do now with this YouTube class. <laughs> So Authentique is here today. I'm going to be playing with some chipboard and some acetate that, again, an exclusive from Graphics. They have cut the sizes to exactly what I want them to be. Thank you, Haley. Appreciated it. And I've got winner winner to talk about. And I also have, although I'm not going to do it today because uh, it's a separate YouTube, I do have the list. It's here all the anniversary sell winners. I've got them. So hopefully sometime next week I'll be able to sit down and do a YouTube announcing all of the names. And there's a hundred of you on here. Um, there's five pages of names that I have to announce. So come next week I hope to have the opportunity to sit down and announce them. But for today, today I have winner winner chicken dinner from YouTube number 315 and that was the Stampendous Stamps, the exclusive Stampendous Stamps, and the exclusive Hero Arts Pigment inks that were beautiful. Oh my gosh, they were so gorgeous. And I have ideas of what to do with those again. We're gonna use those again, I have thoughts. <laughs> I can't sleep at night, so my brain just thinks, hmm. <laughs> it's hard to sleep without Mr. SMS there. It's just not the same. But one day it will be, soon hopefully, but not too soon. He's not ready to come home yet. So don't take that as me saying he's ready to come home if you're watching. Yeah, insure uh, 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 hospital. He's not ready yet. <laughs> okay, so I've got winner winner from uh, YouTube number 315 and that's the Stampendous and the Hero Arts. And are you ready to hear if it's you? Okay, our first winner winner chicken dinner is Tabby. Hello, Tabby. Tabby May. Is that you? Because if it is, congratulations. You're a winner, winner, chicken dinner. Wahoo, ka -choo! <laughs> All right, wait a minute. Our next one is Penny. Penny, oh, Fenton. Hello, Penny Fenton. Is that you? Because if it is, you two are a winner, winner, chicken dinner. Congratulations. All right, Tabby and Penny. Here we go. Are you ready? Are we ready? Is everybody ready? You're a winner, chicken dinner. You're a winner, chicken dinner. Wahoo, cut you for you. Congratulations. How are you going to claim your prize? Go to scrapbookingmadesimple.com. Look for the link that says winner, winner, chicken dinner. Click it. 
follow the directions and we'll get your prizes out to you just as quickly as possible. You have 30 days to claim your prize. So 30 days from the original air date of this class to claim your prize. Otherwise, they'll go into the land of misfit prizes for our next year's anniversary sale. You posted your comment. Don't give up your prize. No, 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 no. All right. So today, today is authentic. I've got uh, graphics, some graphics product. I've got some, I've got stays on in front of me. I've got some stampendous and we are just going to have a super great time. And I think you're going to like the calendars that we're putting together. The product is beautiful. It's easy to use. It doesn't require anybody to have any special crafting talent. You can do this. You really can newbies to the most experienced crafter ever. You can do this and you can pull out all of the tchotchkes that you have, all the things, the little buttons and the little beads and the little rhinestones and the, the little flowers where you just had one or two left over, but you couldn't bear to let them go. You can pull them out and use them to help uh, add to your, your finished product. This is the perfect type of project to use all of those little itty bitty leftovers that you love so much and couldn't get rid of. Now you can put them to good use. And doesn't that make your heart happy when you saved something like, and then all of a sudden it fits perfect on the project you're working for. And it's like, ha, I knew I saved it for a reason. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna tilt on down. We're gonna get started for today. This is Saturday with Stacy, YouTube class number 316, and we are featuring authentic Wahoo Kachoo. Down we go. Bye, everybody. I should have made him talk to me on the phone camera. <laughs> that would have been fun. I've had. I've had David from um, uh, Mr. Big Shot over at Ellison and Ozzy Andrew, and <laughs> there's been a few of them that called in the middle of a YouTube. Oops. <laughs> okay, downstairs we're doing a free in-store make and take, and we're using the paper pads from Authentique to do it. And it is a calendar collection, which means that all the months are represented. So downstairs, they somebody may be doing a Valentine's Day card, or they could be doing a 4th of July card, or they could be doing an autumn fall card. We have ripped open those paper packs and, and the paper pads and given our customers the opportunity to pick which card they would like to make. If they didn't want to do fall, Maybe they want to do a Winter Wonderland card. Pretty amazing, right? Super cute cards, all out of paper and paper that we're able to ship and paper that's exclusive to us. All right, I'm going to put these over here and I'm going to start with those paper pads to begin with. Now, this is, it is a calendar collection, and this is the first six by six paper pad. And this one is available through a lot of retailers. Whomever carries Authentique will probably be carrying this paper pad. And what's in it is lots of wonderful um, pieces to cut up, and it's double-sided, so then you've got a beautiful backing to it. So, and it covers all your months, January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, and December. But then you have a whole nother set of 12 papers that coordinate with the first ones that you saw so that you can take this page and this page and use them together. And again, it also is double-sided and has a backing. So you could use this as your matting and use this to decorate, oh, this one to decorate. It's really up to you. But being that everything works together and you get enough for tw uh, uh, 12 months, super cute. But then 
we did this paper pad, which works in conjunction with the one that is readily available at all your independent retailers that carry Authentic. This paper pad is a little special. This one's a little different. This one has a calendar. December, November, October, and it's double-sided. You can see that you've got, you've got your paper in there. September, August. This you'll only find at Scrapbooking Made Simple. And I am in love with this pad. I love them both because you take from here and use it with the other one to help embellish. But all your months are here. And then you get to the end. And again, you're given sentiments to help embellish. And the sentiments here match perfectly with your December here. So two different paper pads, but in t meant to coordinate, meant to work together. And if you have both of them, you probably can make, well, you can make at least one calendar and I don't know, maybe 50 cards. I mean, it's really a lot. And I think what makes them cool is that the cards that you make will be themed throughout the year. So if you made somebody 12 cards, because it's entirely themed, ready to go, and you give them, let's see, there's 4th of July there, and here's 4th of July here, and they coordinate two different paper pads, and then you also have a 4th of July somewhere down here of even more, let's see, Oh, there we go. So you have a 4th of July pad uh, paper here, a 4th of July paper here, a 4th of July paper over here, and a 4th of July calendar. If you made 12 cards and bundled them up and gave them as a gift for somebody then to send off to their loved ones or their friends, what a thoughtful, that's 12 cards a year that they've got to send somebody a, a Merry Christmas and then a, a, a Happy Easter and then a Happy Fourth of July and then I mean it's an easy way to to make a lovely gift but that's not all we're going to be doing with it today. I'm going to start with the calendar because it just makes my heart happy and I'm gonna pull hmm I guess I can put July. Hmm, maybe, oh, February. So I'm gonna pull a few of these and then I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna pull the matching, the matching pages out of this one. So I did that and I did March and February. So here's March and here's February. So I've got the calendar and I've got the coordinating sentiments. I've got the calendar and I've got coordinating sentiments. I've got calendar and I've got coordinating sentiments. Then I can come back to the first paper pad that's the one that isn't exclusive and I can go through here and do the same thing. So here's another 4th of July and here's another uh, March and another February and then in the back remember we're not done then we have in the back 4th of July March and All right, so I have pulled 
all the matching papers from both paper pads. Just to give you an idea. One, two, three, and four. Imagine all the things you can do with that paper. And being that it is double-sided, you can use some of the backs for mats if you would prefer. You have it all available to you. And that is how we made a lot of the cards that I'm going to show you at the very end, is by taking these and cutting them up, just cutting them up and layering them and moving them around and adding a little bit of our glitter tape from Best Creations. But I really want to start with playing with the calendar because that was what I saw and it was just awesome. So I'm going to move these off to the side and I've got my, I've got my March here. I've got my March. Let's see. This one goes that way and this one goes that. There we go. I've got all four March papers because you get two in each pack, but the only way to get this one is through the exclusive pack. And then I've got four Fourth of July papers and my four Valentine papers. Now, I also have brought in 8x8 chipboard. Now, chipboard been around for forever, but I needed a specific size. I really wanted this 8x8 chipboard because when I saw this, I thought, oh my gosh, this is an awesome, awesome gift. You can mount it onto your 8x8 chipboard and still give you plenty of room to decorate around it. Easy to do. And depending on if you want to mat this, you can use your craft and then mount this straight on there. Or if you like the white, you're good to go. I just thought that by giving you an 8x8 piece versus a 6x6 piece, which is what the paper is, a 6x6, 6x6 means you're just mounting it onto some chipboard so it has some, you know, it's sturdy. But if we go just a little bit bigger, just a little bit bigger, then that gives you the opportunity to play around it. So I am going to take my scissors and I still have some of my trimmers left. This is a, a nine inch trimmer as opposed to a 12 inch trimmer. It's a titanium Westcott. It's a lovely trimmer and we have them for $9.99 instead of $21.99. It has a scoring blade, which is what I normally use it for. And it has a cutting blade. What if I took and I trimmed, now watch it not cut, because I don't use a trimmer very often. I freehand. What if I cut that right off? Now, I can separate these two. I don't have to have them together if I don't want them. Now I can separate them and I could mat them. But what do I want to mat them with? Well, I don't know. I have, if I wanted to, I have the backs of these. So I could find perhaps one that maybe I'm not going to use. Maybe there's something on here that I'm like, yeah, I'll never, ever, ever use that. Hmm. I'm probably not going to use those tags right away. So what if I took um, let's see if I can do this with a trimmer. I'm going to go a little bit bigger. So I'm just going to go a little bit bigger than what I see. Now I'm just cutting. That's all I'm doing. Shoot. Huh. So now I've matted my February, which can then go here. Right? So let's grab some Stacy tape. 
and put this down because I'm starting super easy and then we're going to get a little bit more advanced. So if I put this there and what's Stacy tape? It's a double sided adhesive. It's double sided tape that's super sticky, super strong, easy to use and will hold just about anything that will you need to stick down from glitter and beads to fabric and metal and acetate and chipboard. Okay. And because they came from the two coordinating paper pads, they work perfectly together. Now, what if I wanted to take maybe some of my red and add a little bit of glitter to it? And what if I wanted to take some of my um, Best Creations tape and add a little red zigzag? Let's cut a piece off. Oh, do I want to do that or do I want to do gold? Ooh, change of mind. Oh, what if I wanted to add some gold to the bottom? And this is just the $1.99 glitter tape from Best Creations that we did a couple weeks ago. Let's cut that off and trim that down. Zoop. And then let's put another one on top, only this time we'll face that little scallopy in. Can you think of all the things that you already have in your stash that you could pull out that you have been waiting to use? <laughs> the little the little flowers and the little buttons and the little um, uh, clothespins and maybe some washi tape that you just have a little bit left. Now, how cute is that becoming? And in a matter of minutes, you can take and make somebody an entire calendar, an entire calendar in just a matter of minutes. Not much at all. And like I said, you've got these, you've got these little extra pieces that come in the kit or in the pads that you can then, if you wanted to, decorate around or use these to make lovely cards. You've got the backs. Use these on your layouts. Make this a layout. You could make uh, the most darling 12 by tw or uh, eight by eight mini album and on one page is the calendar and on the other page are pictures of what happened in that month. A baby's first yearbook because you've got every holiday covered. And so here is the here is the 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 month and then your next page over. So when they open it, here would be pictures of the baby or your first year wedding. Or, I, I mean, there's just so many things that can be done and all I'm using is paper. And then I'm able to grab my little, my little tchotchke bits and pieces of things and go in there. And if I want to, I can go in there and start to, start to embellish with all the little things that I wasn't able to give away or throw away. <laughs> and just add a little bit of an embellishment. You can do this. This is easy. And you have so much opportunity. But what if we wanted to do a little bit? I mean, and I, I've got buttons in here. You know, I could take the button and I've got little button and on the date that's important you could have a cute little flower button 
on the dates that are important, you can put the little buttons down. Let me zoom in just a little bit closer. On the dates that are important, put the little button down. You, you absolutely have options on what to do and how to do it. And if I don't like any of that, I can just take it right on off. And depending on what I want to do, I can even put that over the top and that over the bottom. It's, it's, really, it's really up to you. And if I liked that zigzag, where could I use that zigzag? I don't know. Maybe, no, I like the gold. The gold looks really, really good. <laughs> I'm happy with the gold. And I actually, you could use the little flowers to designate the days. You could then take some strips. Let's see, I still have this. This is what I cut into. I could take strips and put strips down the side to decorate. I could um, use this to make a mat towards the bottom of my calendar. But the chipboard is what really helps because that's what gives it the stability for you to uh, give it as a gift for something that can be used again and again and again. Now I'm going to just take this and I'm going to tape it down just super, super quick. Let's just take a little bit of my tape. And I'm just going to tape it down really fast. I'm taping upside down. <laughs> it's a little bit of a challenge for me. <laughs> Okay, there's one. Let's put this one down. That 8x8 eight eight size chipboard just gives you the opportunity to decorate and to add your own little touches to each and every month as opposed to doing a 6x6 six six calendar, which is what the size of the paper pads are. Okay, put a little bit there just to hold it down. So Stacy tape, you can tear the tape. You see me tearing it with my fingers and yet it's strong enough to hold anything and just everything you can think of. All right, so there we go. We've got one month done. Let me back it up a little bit. One month done. Oh, come back. Uh oh, oh, there we go. Okay, back, there we go. We've got one month done, easy peasy. But what if I got super clever with this and I wanted to give somebody something that they could use year after year after year after year? Is that possible? It's a calendar. How would you do that, Stacy? Well, let's be clear. I didn't come up with this. Claire thought I came up with this, but Claire's the one who actually came up this with this. When the product came in, she did not know what it is I was planning on doing with it. So she just assumed. She assumed wrong, but she assumed so right. Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> I have acetate. Now this acetate, again, is an 8x8 and it's going to be made specifically for scrapbooking made simple. Graphics is cutting it just for us. Um, the acetate and the chipboard will be sold 15 to a pack. That way you have oopsies just in case. But what if I put the acetate right over the top of it? What if I put acetate right over the top? Get a little and then let's tape it down into place. Are you with me yet? Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Which is, wasn't, was I was thinking at all. Claire was thinking it, but Claire did an amazing job. I'm just gonna put some Stacy tape down just to hold it in place for right now. Let's put a little piece over here. And pull up my liner. And tape it down. Okay, so now I've put acetate over the front of the whole thing. Why did I do that? 
well, what if I wanted somebody to use this for the next five years? What if I, what if I wanted to get them to get the most they can out of what I'm making for them? And then what if I took a Sharpie and drew in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and put the numbers on the acetate because you know that when you get a little bit of rubbing alcohol, you can take those numbers right off and fill in next year's numbers and use it, the calendar, again and again and again. Can you see why you would be such a rock star to somebody? Oh my gosh, a personalized gift. You can note that, they, they, you know, may, maybe, so nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and um, you can put, you know, they can put Valentine's Day there, and every year they can change it. One gift that keeps giving over time, and one gift that is made out of two paper pads that are seven dollars each and then they're on a youtube yummy and pulling out some of the things that you may already have you may have tons of little buttons and oh my gosh how many bags of flowers do you have <laughs> how many little flowers do you have that you just can't bring yourself to get rid of yet all right well we can decorate with the flowers You have options and you have things in your stash that you can utilize and feel good about taking out that product and, and finally putting it to use. You feel good about that. I mean, you can, you can decorate it up any way that you see fit with all of those little extra things that you still have. up to you how you want to do it. But if you put the acetate on top of each page, and you can definitely hole punch this so that it can ring and they can flip it. Absolutely. If you put the acetate on each page, they're going to have the opportunity to then um, change it year after year after year. All for your uh, fourteen dollars less twenty percent, and whatever else you wanna, you wanna add to it. And if you already have acetate, then use your acetate. But I like the fact that I had the. I'm really happy that I had the chipboard and the acetate cut to eight by eight to give you an opportunity. And I didn't even mat the back one. But look at how cute. Now. What if we wanted to take it to the next step? What if we really wanted to, to wow it up? How would we do that? Well, for those of you who love to stamp, let's play with the acetate. Ooh, it's sticking together. <laughs> Another piece of eight by eight acetate. Ready to fit on my chipboard. Ready to go, eight by eight size to easily fit my six by six calendar. Even if I cut my calendar in half like I did before, but maybe I want to do something more with this one. Hmm. 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 What if I played with this one? This, this is a stamp from Stampendous. You'll never guess what size it is. <laughs> you bet, eight by eight. And the acetate, look at the perfect fit on that stamp. But how do you stamp acetate? Well, that's where uh, Stazon comes in. Stazon. 
This is a permanent based ink, very much like a Sharpie. When you think of a Sharpie, you think of uh, permanent writing on metal and plastic and glass and your kids are going to camp and you need to mark all of their lanterns and their sunglasses and their shoes. Most people will grab a Sharpie or a Bic marker because they're permanent. Well, Stazon's the same. It's a permanent based ink. Can you stamp with Stazon just as regular ink? Sure you can. Here. Stays on, stamp. I'm gonna ink my stamp up really good. I'm not going to put it on a block. I'm just going to put my paper on it and give a very nice, gentle back massage. So let's see, I missed some there. Very nice back massage. So I'm just gonna put my paper, you can see where my, my stamp is inked and where it is not. I'm just gonna put my paper right on top. And then see how I'm keeping my hands flat? We do this in the, in the store a lot for the make and take and a lot of people will come in here and they'll grab two fingers and they'll wanna do this. I want you to keep your hands flat, just flat and rub all over. Nice back massage. This is easy for people who have trouble with the big blocks from arthritis or they have cute little petite hands. I do not have cute little petite hands, but, <laughs> but doing it this way will allow you to get a lovely stamped image without turning it over and trying to press so hard. This is eight by eight. So trying to get a, a, an image fully stamped and maybe with your stamp press, okay, you can do it with your stamp press because if you have a hole, and what I mean by a hole is where you didn't get any pressure and it stamped all the way around it, but a splotch there. If you have a stamp press, you can certainly then go back and stamp it again. But if you don't have a stamp press, and you're using a larger stamp, sometimes it's easier to turn the stamp upside down and bring your paper on top and do a nice back rub. Now the thing about a stays on ink or any permanent based ink is that it is going to stain your stamp. Oh, I don't know who's calling. It's going to stain your stamp. So I'm not going to be able to get that blue off. It's going to stain it. Is that going to harm the stamp? Absolutely not. Can I ink over the top of it with another color, whether it be a Stazon or a, a Stampendous or a Memento? You bet I can, and the ink is not going to transfer. This is a permanent based ink. If you do use a Stazon solvent cleaner, uh, it's fine for your rubber stamps, but be very gentle using that on a clear stamp because the stays on solvent cleaner will eat through a clear stamp. So we just use a baby wipe. I'd rather be safe than sorry. So let's see. Um, what if I take and I ink it up really good. all over hopefully I didn't miss a spot I'm gonna get on the outsides really good because that's obviously what's gonna be showing more than anything else but as long as you're inking you might as well ink up the whole darn thing All right, you think I did a good job? I can't tell sometimes. Well, let's give it a whirl and see what we get, shall we? Okay. So what if I took my acetate and put my acetate straight down? And then gave just a really nice rub. Now I put a piece of paper over the top of it 
to help me not slide the acetate because acetate is high gloss so it's kind of slippery and I want to make sure that I don't slip and slide otherwise my ink is going to smear but what happens if your ink smears no big deal you just wipe your acetate down and you're good to go again wipe it off with some um, alcohol and you can take that ink right off and you can try all over again. Now I don't know if I got enough on here, if I inked it up enough, but we're gonna give it a whirl. Pull. No, not enough. Oh, it's very faint. It's there, but light. Oh yeah. Hard, well. I guess it would depend upon what you want to do. It's very, very, very faint there. But if I were to separate them, you could use it. But I'm not crazy about it, and I don't have any alcohol here. So let's do another one. Maybe this time I'll do it with red and see if I can see that red a little bit better. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna wipe down my wipe down my stamp before I go there. Get any of that blue off that's gonna come off, although there wasn't that much on there. And then let's come back with my red. So it stays on. See, the red, I can see where I've hit it and where I've missed. <laughs> and maybe I'll just do a half of a sheet. Well, no, let's just do it all. Oh, Stacy. That's what I get for twisting. Okay. So ink, ink, ink ink, ink, ink. Ink, ink, ink. Does it look good? Does it look like I got everywhere? All right, let's give it a whirl. Drop it down. I'm gonna just grab a little piece of paper just so I don't move my acetate. Give a nice back rub, move my paper up a little bit, give a nice back rub. You would also wanna use a little piece of paper like that if your acetate is smaller than your stamp. And that way you're not gonna get ink all over your hands. Oh, I missed the space right there. Okay, let's see. Oh, so much better. Okay, so let's grab a piece of paper. Look at how beautiful is that that beautiful stamped image on a piece of acetate. And it doesn't take long to dry because as, or the, the ink, the stays on, is an alcohol-based product. So it dries fairly quickly. And then you have the opportunity to come back. Oh, here it is. So if I took this, and this says, um, dream big and sing your song and uh, pursue peace. It's great for the 4th of July. Well, it'd be great for your, your um, August one too, or not your August, your November. So let's just trim it out because I'm trying to use a trimmer since I have a nine inch. And let's line it up and see how I do. One, two, three. Not bad. And then let's grab 
Mm -mm. What are my choices? No, I like this one. I think I'll take... Do I like that one? Hmm, maybe it's going to be fine just the way it is. Let's see. So I could put my July here and my calendar here. Maybe I do want to map my calendar. Just give my calendar a little oomph. Nope, I think I like that one. Oh, I got this one too. Oh, oh, I like the blue. Okay, <laughs> that's the other piece. I like that one a lot. So I'm just gonna cut this one a little bit bigger. You have options, lots of them. So now I've got that to go here. I can put this on a white piece of chipboard if I'd like. Or I don't have to put it on chipboard at all. I can just do the calendar just like this. The acetate will be thick enough to, uh, to be on its own where you don't have to back it at all if you don't want to. Gosh, and I could do, so if I did that, do you see how I put the little dotty there? But I only have so much of that because I used it there. But what if I slice it in half? Close enough, right? Close counts. Whoop. <laughs> I'll get used to a trimmer eventually, or I won't, and I'll just go back to freehanding it. And then I put, I put this one there. By splitting it, I'm able to make it look like it's a full-size mat. And I can put that there. And I've got the words in the background. I mean, and I've taken a, just a simple piece of acetate. And by stamping on it, made it something fabulous. Now, what if I didn't want to use this in a calendar? What if I wanted to trim this out and make cards out of this and use some of the different pieces that come with it? What if I wanted to go ahead and make a card out of something like this and take, take this piece right here? So if you can make a calendar plus maybe f easily four cards out of each month and oh my goodness that's a lot. So four times 12 would be 48 plus a calendar. What if I wanted to do this and then put this on there and then back it here or maybe put this up here and then take two of these down there. Are you getting the jest? You really have so much to play with. They've given you so much to play with that, I mean, I could put that there. I could take my little, oh, I could just put my little, my little sayings down there. You just have a lot to go off of and all of it's going to work together and all of it's going to make a fabulous gift. Now, if you were going to do this and you wanted to save, you certainly could just cut like I did before. Cut this piece right here. Cut that piece right there. I know I'm back to my free handing. I just can't help myself. If I cut this piece right here, and then I cut this piece in half. And then I taped that to the back and that to the back. It would give you the exact same look I had before, 
only I wouldn't have lost so much paper. I still would have all of this left to play with. So when you're using paper, you really want to kind of give it a thought on how much you want to use and is there a way to make it look like you've used a full sheet. Because once you've taped it down to your card base or whatever you're putting it on, nobody needs to know that behind my calendar is not a full sheet of that dotty paper. There's no reason for them to know that. No reason at all. And now I've used, I could have even used less, but half of what I had before to make the same look. And maybe I want to put my calendar to the side and I want to take some of the let freedom ring and I want to put them coming off the edges. Maybe I want to take my little my little stamps and cut them out. All I'm using is scissors. Okay, let's see how I do. Ready? No going back. No guts, no glory. Ha ha ha. Ah! Meh. Okay, good enough. What if I wanted to put these going up the side to help decorate? What is it that's going to make your heart happy? What is it that you're going to want to create to give to somebody? And then if you were to take that acetate, do I have one more piece? I do. If you were to take that acetate and sandwich it, well, then you could they could use it again and again and again. Or if you didn't want to use the white paper and just had the acetate, it will be strong enough to hold. And you'll still be able to see the stamped image. So pretty. So, so, so pretty. Let's see, I have this one here too. Let's move that one to the side. I have this stamp here too from Stampendous. And what if I wanted to use more than one color? Can I do that? Sure. Especially if you're using it on the, well, on the acetate, you can use more than one color of stays on at one time. All we have to do is wipe it down, make sure it's nice and clean. You can see that my stamp is stained. And I'm okay with that. I can stamp on regular paper. I can stamp on acetate. It doesn't matter. The stamp is clean, even though stays on has kind of gone all over it. Now I've got some mustard here and with stays on they give you this little lid and they give you this little piece of paper here to put your color on. This lid is something you don't want to lose. Because it's an alcohol based product it will tend to evaporate. So they'd like you to take that little lid and we recommend that you tape it into the top of your and you can just take some Stacy tape Let's use a big old piece. You can just take some Stacy tape and tape it straight in. Stacy tape down. Pull up my liner. Some people use foam dots. We have used foam dots before. You just want to make sure that you don't lose. Well, I'm going to put that down first. That way it lines up perfect. Then I'm going to put that down and then I'm going to give a good press. And now I won't lose that little lid, which keeps it a little more airtight. But I can put some of my color down. Put some of my color down. And then 
maybe a little bit of my green right on top. You always see the lids in, see? You always want to start with your lightest color first. A little bit of green, and then I might even throw in just a little hint of red. Don't know what it's going to look like, but we'll find out soon enough, right? And put my acetate on top. And grab a piece of paper. I can use this one. Grab a piece of paper. Give a nice back massage. I just want to make sure that I don't smear and go, ooh, and it smears. But if you do, don't worry. There's an easy fix. Alcohol, go grab some rubbing alcohol and wipe off your acetate and you can start all over again. It is your oops pin. It is your way to say, oh, I thought I was gonna love it, but I didn't, but I'm not, I'm not stuck with it. I can change it if I want. Think that's a good massage? All right, let's see what we get. Ooh, ah, right? So pretty. Look at that, it's just lovely. And then if I went back and I found my what do you think? So let's see if I found my November. And I put that there. I mean, that's, that's done. Let's grab a piece of I wonder what it would look like on craft chipboard. Oh, so rustic and so pretty. So pretty and so easy. And I can finish decorating. I could take and put some of my tape around the whole thing and border out the entire piece with some of the best creations tape and then lay this right on top. I, you just, you have so many different options or I could take this and I could cut it to make cards and start layering it on cards to where I've got my piece here. And then let's see, where's the, where's the, Oh no, I want from the other book. I've got here. So this is autumn and then I've got November is here with harvest. Oh, let us be grateful to the people who make us happy. They are charming guard gardeners who make our souls blossom. How nice is that? I could take that right out. Or I could take out the Happy Thanksgiving. I don't know. You have options. So if I did this and I did that and then I mat it. If I wanted to mat it, I could lay it right down on top here and start building a card out of it instead of making it into a calendar and just make pretty things. You have that opportunity. I love that stamp. That stamp's beautiful. Well, I love the other one too because it's so pretty. I like separating these. I think it just adds a nice little touch to separate them. 
so that you have a you have a title and you have your calendar. Mm. And then just like the other, and you can move them any way you see fit and decorate it any way you see fit. so that you give somebody a lovely gift and all you've used is paper. I mean, I could come in here, oh, I've got lots of little doohickeys. Oh, I've got lots of doohickeys to play with. I mean, I could come up and grab some flowers and start decorating with all the little bits and pieces that I have left over. Oh, oh, I've got leaves. Look at the leaves. <laughs> oh, okay, so you never know what you're gonna find in your little bag until you open it up. See, all these little things that we just could not bring ourselves to part with are perfect on this page. So a mini album a calendar, a lovely gift for somebody. And all I've used are things that I already had along with the, along with the, the paper pads. Now I will tell you, Authentique came out with their own calendar as well. It's a little bit bigger than an eight by eight. It's like an eight and a half by an eight and a half. But by the time you cut off the bottom, you're at, to, you're at an eight by eight. And this allows you to then, if you wanted to, just like you would do with the calendars I'm showing you, you could put holes at the top and ring them so that you would have a page to decorate. So instead of having that, we would do this, where you could put somebody's picture right there, a page to decorate, and an actual calendar to go below. So this would be on the top and then your calendar would be hanging below and you would just flip them. So every year or every month you could do a beautiful little page on the top and obviously on the back of this one would be the month of another. So their calendars you get 13 pieces because you'll need them. <laughs> to make a full calendar and you use the back of one to make the the pretty decorative page and then what's really nice is that at the end of the year they take all these pages out and you make a little mini album out of it this is a thoughtful gift that you will find most people will completely appreciate and then with so much left over between the books, so much left over, you could do a calendar for somebody, you could do four sets of cards where you give four different people a set of 12 cards that they can send throughout the whole year. And you're talking about uh, 14 less, so that's $2.80, that would be $11 and, would it be 11? Uh, so 14 11 dollars and 20 cents would that be right something close to that for the two paper pads and what you get out of it is amazing I had to have it when I saw it and then when I saw how beautiful it lines up with an 8 by 8 base I just thought oh this is this is a rock star this is an absolute rock star and you can do this and feel successful in doing it Pull that right off. So it's your choice. Do you want to make your own background? Do you want to use their calendar? How do you want to present this? How do you want to be creative? I have made a mess, 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 but I loved doing this. So I'm okay with my mess, mess, mess. And I know I've got another one somewhere over here, wherever I, oh, here's my, here's my stamped image for my 
July. So I could take the acetate and put it on that. I could stamp directly on this, on their calendar. Stamp directly on the back side. So if I did that, let's see, where's my stamp? <laughs> there it is. So if I took the stamp and I trimmed off, trimmed off my bottom, because you don't want the, the UPC, trimmed off my bottom. I would have done a better job with a trimmer. It's okay. And I inked it up. Ink, 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 ink. So just back and forth. Oh, I'm probably shaking that camera like crazy. Back and forth and back and forth and back and forth and up and down. Make sure it's well inked. Now, ooh, flip back on there, please. Thank you. And now, lay this straight down because I'm doing the back side. And I would just put a piece of paper over it just so my inky hands don't get all over my pretty calendar. And let's give some presses. See, look at that ink would have been all over my calendar and I want to avoid that. So let's ink it, ink it, ink it, and press, 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 and back massage, back massage, back massage. And then back massage. And this is directly on to the Authentiques calendar, the one that they produced, ready to go. What do you think, good enough? All right. So now I've gone there, and then I could just finish. That there. Oh, we could do the November. That there. That there. And then decorate. And then they'll flip up to the next month because there it is on the back. So that's kind of what you would have. And then they'd flip this one up and the back of this one would go to the month behind it. This is a good time for these kind of gifts. The holidays are coming up and people appreciate them. Okay, so what did we do? Oh my goodness gracious. Well, we played just making a basic calendar. And this time I put the acetate on top, allowing me to draw the numbers in so I can use it again and again and again. Then we actually stamped on the acetate. Allowing us to use an acetate for a background as opposed to, um, as opposed to over the top. We made a background out of that acetate and we used again and again and again the paper pads from Authentique. One of them is one that you'll be able to find in a lot of your mom and pop retail stores if they carry Authentique. The other one is only at Scrapbooking Made Simple. We did it just for you because I really wanted to do this. <laughs> and then it's all about decorating. So I have got beautiful samples to show you. Beautiful samples. Let me move all of this out of the way. And let's start with some cards. So just cards and look at the best creations tape on them. So you've got March here. Look at how cute is November. Use the border from the calendar on the card.
Some of the best memories are made in flip-flops. Leslie, that's for you. <laughs> and you know who I'm talking to. <laughs> Some of the best, and look at the glitter tape. It's very inexpensive, that glitter tape. If you don't have it yet, you should. It's $1.99 a roll for the straight edge, and then it's on a YouTube Yummy. They have four or five different edges to it, so um, so if you wanted the decor edge, like the scallop edge, it runs a little bit more, but my goodness, it goes a long ways. And these are using all the leftover pieces from the pads. And again, think about making, just making four of the exact same card or similar to the same type of layout and bundling 12, all 12 months in, and you have four different um, four different stacks, so four completely different gifts, plus the calendar. That's five gifts that you can do out of two paper pads. Look at how pretty are these. And all it is is using their paper. Really? So you so we cut up the some bunny loves you. It was one piece. Cut it all up and layered it down. Look at that Easter card. Somebody can go into their little the little box that you give them and pull this out and send it to somebody that they, you know, really want to give a, a, a lovely card to, a handmade card to. For Mother's Day. And so the adventure begins. Look at a wedding card. December, again, using the, the border that I was using, using the big, the big um, border to do the calendar with using it just on the card. And then let's look at some of the calendars that the girls made. So I'm gonna put them on, let's grab a piece of white so you can. How cute is that? Now that's keeping them together. How darling is that? Stamped on the acetate. So the acetate's back here and it's stamped right onto it. And all the little pieces from the pad that you can use to embellish because they're all meant to coordinate. And then I have June. Again, ink stamped directly on the acetate with a stays on ink. And all the little, the little embellishments that we had sitting around not doing anything but couldn't get rid of, here they are. So this is June. And then we have May. And see what I mean? You don't have to put it on a background at all. It holds up on its own. I'm putting it on white just so you can see it a little clearer through the camera. But you don't have to. And they kept the calendar all as one. Uh, Doris and Tracy and Claire. And then we have September, which used that stamp that I love so much. And look at the little school books, all coming from the paper pads. A few little bling, a few little leftover buttons. And it doesn't have to take a long time to do because everything goes together so beautifully, it just lays itself right out. Oh, look, at here we've got the, the title or the border on the side. Really darling. Okay. And then we have the ones that you can take and write directly on. So here's August, and you could take and fill in the numbers. 
so that you can wipe it down and use it again and again and again. Here's December and I threw some of the numbers in there so that you can use it again and again and again. And this has tape going all the way around. It has the um, the best creations tape going all the way around. Nobody needs to know that underneath the, the, the matting, there's no glitter tape. It's okay. Like this one has tapes on the sides. You don't need to know that that glitter doesn't go all the way underneath. That tape is perfect for things like this. Just perfect. In October, And again, tape. They like the tape. <laughs> it's easy to use and very effective. And then last, and again, tape all the way around. This is the glitter tape that I've been showing you. Going all the way around the edges. And the acetate's on top. So if I wanted to, all I have to do is write one, two, three, four, five, and every year change it. All right, you guys. So what's on sale? Um, the paper pads, the trimmer, the, the tape we'll put on sale. Um, Stampendous will put there the stamps. I think there's three or four different eight by eight stamps that we can put on sale. So that's what we'll do. The acetate, the chipboard, all of that will be in the YouTube yummies category. Let me tilt up and then let me tilt back. <laughs> oh no, that's closer. <laughs> wrong way, wrong way. <laughs> all right, you guys, I hope you see how just using paper and things you already have in probably a little tub of something. It's a tub of goodness is what that is. The little, the little doodads that, that just are gonna add the perfect finishing touch to these cards and these calendars. By using that and the paper pads from Authentique, you can make magic for people. You can give some lovely, thoughtful, handmade gifts this year that will not break, break the, the bank. They will not. And I think that once you start rolling, oh my gosh, you'll, you'll start easy peasy. And then as you get more comfortable in doing this, you'll add a little bit more and then maybe you might ink something or you might, you might distress something or who knows what you're going to end up doing. But no matter what, it was handmade by you with love for somebody else. And that's all they see when you give it to them is that your heart is in that gift. So I wanna thank Authentique for getting this for me and for allowing us to, to do that very special paper pad. It means the world to me to have them backing us and, and, and going rah, rah, team SMS. And for all of you, where are you gonna find all of this? Well, you're gonna find it at scrapbookingmadesimple.com uh, under the YouTube Yummies category or visit our retail store, come see us. And don't forget to post your comments so you can claim, hopefully you have a chance of being a winner, winner, chip, uh, chicken dinner. And for all of your love and thoughts and well wishes and your financial support, because honestly, I could not do this without that. <laughs> I could build our home. We're building our home without, without, with what we have, but this is, um, this was a left turn that I was not expecting and Michael was not expecting and our family was not expecting and you all know that really it's it's just me and my family it's on uh, I like no aunts and uncles and siblings and cousins and things like that so you all are filling my need for that right now more than you could ever possibly know big thanks to you for that I don't know if I'll ever be able to repay you for what you've done for me getting through this past month with Michael. So, all right, it's me, Stacy, Scrapbooking Made Simple. I will see you next week. Wahoo Kachu. Bye, everybody.